bad loss. It's a cruel game, Steve. We, we've seen it over the years. This is a Red Bulls team that came out and played well. They played the way Ormus tactically wanted them to play. They dominated the ball. They dominated the game. They got the better of the opportunities. But if you don't score a goal, you're in danger, and they found out. It was unfolding as we were complimenting the Red Bulls for their start, really in the first 20 minutes of the game, probably. Uh, they've got D.C. on their heels early, and we've seen this before from this Red Bull team. The first halves traditionally are better than the second halves. Maybe the press, they can't keep up what they want to do for a full 90 minutes or even 75 minutes. And once you got that sense that D.C. weathered a storm, for a player, is there that feeling of, uh-oh, maybe impending doom or maybe just a disappointing night? Yeah, look, players are human and it's frustrating when you're playing against teams and many of them do this against Red Bulls. DC United sat back with a block of five, a block of four, Ola Kamara alone up top, strictly mm. looking to counter attack. That's frustrating. If you get the first goal, maybe you get four. But, but to answer your question, yes, players start to press. They start to try and do things that they shouldn't be doing. It gets frustrating. As we look for a way out of this for this team, because now with this defeat and their shutout tonight, uh, three shutout losses by this team so far this season, we're looking at potentially Drew Yearwood and Samuel Tete making their first contributions for this club. If not both of them on Sunday, then maybe just Yearwood and Tete right behind that. What do they need? Maybe it's something those guys can deliver, but right now, where is this team falling short on the whole? Well, we talked about it before the game and during the game. You need a striker to be able to score goals. I thought Tom Barlow had a terrific game, but you got to score goals. You know, I played with Giorgio Canaglia. People hated him, but he scored a goal. He scored goals. So I think that's the big missing link for this team. I think now they're solid in, in goal. They have their established number one in Ryan Mara. When the back line is pendant and, and you know, Aaron Long and Tim Parker and Kyle Duncan, they're solid. They're solid in the midfield. They need somebody to score goals.